Hey boys and girls, it's Nice Talkie here. Welcome along today to Conqueror's City Siege. Check it, to check it out. What's the counter-attack siege? It's kind of like the event map version of it. Um, and today we're going to bring in the Tusios because they are the uh, latest and greatest with their new abilities and their triple fire with melee um, combat ability. We're going to try and use them. Um, uh, we're going to bring the Outriders uh, simply because I like throwing javelins particularly off walls and stuff onto stuff and I can find some nice little spots on this map to do that and if we get to get those guys out at the right time I'll be able to show you. The last unit we're going to bring in today is the Javelin Sergeants. Um, I really like javelins to start with on the um, the B point side because uh, you can throw javelins all the way down into their, into their bridge crossing and their point capture and then again when they sort of push up the stairs you can chuck some javelins into them then as well and it works out really well. Anyway, let's get into this. Uh, don't forget while you're here, uh, if you wanted to join our chat room uh, in the Discord, there is a link in the description below. If you'd really like to get a t-shirt from the t-shirt shop, there is also a description uh, link in the description below as well. And oh, we're already here into the battle. As Ryu Katana says, our 380p uh, <laughs> intro loading screen. I like that guy, he's funny. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to pop them sort of somewhere about here. Because then we have unlimited ammunition and many javelins. Uh, these guys can chuck well outside their range. Um, what's that Polex doing? Can I support him? What else have we got going on? Musket, some pikes. Okay. Here we go then. Volley one. Volleys two and three. Not bad, not bad. We're back to volley four. And then if we can target a hero as well, we'll get another one in quick succession. Can we? No. Never mind. Okay, so the great thing about these javelin sergeants is they can put out a damn near constant stream of javelins. The one ability is um, self-targeted, choose uh, someone to shoot at. And number two, what's going on? A. Yeah. Um, so the number two ability is a circle targeted unit. Number three, if you use the right veterancy line, you'll get the number three, which is double shot. And that's got a, like a 40 second cooldown or something, but you chuck two volleys. And number four is hero target volley. So you can go two, uh, three, three, two, four, two. So you can get six volleys of javelins out. Uh, very, very rapidly, and uh, these guys have a lot more javelins than the average javelinier unit. Uh, I'm not sure about my position here. I probably should be up with my javelins, but I kind of want to protect these guys as well. So we'll start here. Um, javelins are pretty good against shields. They've got pretty good shield break, so we'll try that. Um, no, boys. No, 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 no. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Don't be aggressive. Ah, oh, we lost a couple. That's not what we wanted. But we can pour some a volley fire into these guys. And then hit him again. Can we? Nine. Never mind. Um, we defended very effectively. Uh, we have got some javelins left. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can we self-target? Go. What was that, boys? What was that throw? <laughs> uh, Target that hero that's moving in the in the left-hand direction. Sure, boss will throw to the right of his original position. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Thanks, guys. Alrighty, so Castle Point has been taken. That's not that surprising. Oh yes, I will... Um... Huh. Um, I will enlarge the map for those of you watching on a cell phone. I try to do that as often as I can. I often get that feedback. Please enlarge the map or please make it louder. So I'm working on those two things. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. You have to tell me, can you tell me in the comments, is this video louder and clearer than you're usually used to? Tell me about that. Anyway, the map is larger. That's good. If you want to enlarge that map, by the way, use the plus key at the top. Oh, the, the. Use the plus key at the top of your keyboard, not on your number pad. I've got a lot of pikey pikes here, so that makes me happy. What carnage can we cause? Look at that pike in there, he's a dead man. <laughs> or a dead lady. Hmm. 
What I'm doing here is I'm just checking the sort of back corridor, make sure we're not being snuck up on in the back. That supply point is kind of important to the defence of this point. Those, those war rockets are nasty. Um, and I have to keep my unit moving. So if you're like, Night Stalker, why are you walking around in circles? That's why. I simply do not want to get targeted. So we're going to come over here, we're going to allow them to self-target. And away we go. <laughs> this unit is so good. A couple of outriders there, that's not a big deal. And I love javelins. It's such a fun unit. Let's see if we can target this guy. No, but we killed a lot of guys around him. We've got one javelin toss left before we have to go back to supply. So let's go do that. And again, we'll just quickly check the supply, make sure no one's sneaking up the back. I don't want to lose my javelins very well. Uh, javelin sergeants are not good in close combat. Um, they are at best able to not die, I guess is the way to put it. Uh, they're not like the, the Imperial Javelins. What's that guy doing? Cav, okay. Um, they're not like the Imperial Javelins, which are capable of fighting in close combat. Not if you just uh, allow them to do nothing. Uh, the, the Imperial Javelins, you have to micro them, um, simply because they, if you take top to top or top to middle line, you'll have a like a uh, shield bash attack that does bleed and knocks people down and all sorts of things. So if you're careful, you can get, oh, we'll just quickly skirt around, and then we'll come back. Let's send to those Iron Reapers anyway. That was the wrong unit at the wrong location at the wrong time. There's still some there, look. But that did not work out well for that particular enemy. Are there any left? There are. Anyway. And that's why you have to be careful about that, that back point. Um, just about any other unit would have been better than the Iron Reapers in that scenario because they come around that corner in ones and twos. Uh, you can't get a decent charge off, and if you do your tiger step or whatever the hell that thing's called, um, you don't get good use out of it. Oh, oh! You're welcome for that damage reduction, by the way, Mr. Pike Militia. I do like Pike Militia. I still have a soft spot for it. They're not nearly as good as they used to be five seasons ago, due to a few changes, but um, they most certainly, for their leadership, are very, very good in the current meta. I know that they won't stop a tier 5 frontal cavalry charge, that's not what they're about, but they will uh, disrupt it and they will kill some of them, no doubt. They're also very good with their stun, so if you get a, a unit like Iron Reapers walks into them, for example, great example, um, they'll just get annihilated. Siladars as well, by the way, they've got no um, protection against that sort of stuff. They'll just get nibbled and nibbled and nibbled and nibbled and nibbled until they're dead. So, let's see, I want to get a little bit aggressive now. Um, Slowly losing one or two at a time. Bring him in here. See if we can self-target maybe. What do we want to do? We want to flank these guys. Oh, cavalry! Hey, look at that. And um, by the way, javelin stop cavalry charge, by the way, if you didn't know that. Man, we're getting some good work out of these guys today. One volley left. Back out we go. So yeah, javelins do stop cavalry charges. Um, very nice to know. Uh, they're a little bit unreliable in doing it though. The individual javelin will stop a cavalry model that is charging, but they tend to all target the closest ones to them and sort of affect half the unit but not the other half. So it's quite unreliable. But in a pinch, it's what you get. I love how they're attacking us from our next point. <laughs> There's a lot of muskets and guns and all sorts of stuff over there. It's a very reasonable place to keep those uh, Iron Reapers. This is not a reasonable place to keep Modau. Look at all these Shinjis and stuff showering grenades down. Should we uh, 
I feel like very soon we should risk it for the biscuit. And maybe push on a bit. It's a little bit it's about three minutes, so I don't want to be a bit silly about it though. Can we at this range, what do we got? Nothing. <laughs> Those guys on the point just dying. They're like, nope, it's our point. You can't take it. You can't sneak a point grab. Alright, let's see if we can go and kill some of these Shinjis that are raining grenades down. Getting a little bit bored standing back. It looks like we've pretty much won the match at this point. Um, let's go full metal biscuit. Look at this, look at the range. We're probably about here, I'd say. Maybe a little bit. There we go. We're going to get absolutely shot to bits for our efforts because we're taking on a gold tier ranged unit with a purple tier ranged unit. Uh, we're taking on two gold tier ranged units with our position. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, right? That was fun. We killed a bunch of them. We got 69 kills, the magic number. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I missed them. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it moving on. But that was fun. Um, let's go get well, let's go get the Tercios out. Actually, there's only been at 30 left. I really wanted to show you the new Tercios, but instead we're going to hold the point. This is the best use of x raiders I've ever seen. <laughs> Standing here and getting shot. Perfect. But it would be very sad at this point when we've done so well uh, to to lose the, the point to a little, like, you know, a, somebody climbing the ladders and snagging it or something like that, you know. So let's just uh, try and uh, capitalise on our gains and we'll sit here. And hopefully in the next minute we'll take a win. It's going to affect our score. Yes, yes, it is going to affect our score. We're not in there fighting. We're not getting more kills. We're not murdering more heroes. But what's the purpose of the match? The match is to take and defend the circles. Plus they can do that. See, this This is what I'm talking about. See, they, they could just easily run by. They could do it like a Ling run by or a Zealot run by. Hmm. Or a filthy, disgusting Keshig run by, or a Kavri unit run by. That's just going to look down on him for his pikiness. Um, Mr. Polax, what are you doing? Uh oh. Oh no! Have I crashed? Oh, what's going on? What a heck, man! What a heck! That's all right. We won in the end. <laughs> GG. GG to the enemy team. Um, the, the reason the enemy team lost is they took a whole lot of ranged units. Ranged units don't really help push, man. They took a lot of ranged units and they sat at the back with them. They made no serious attempt to capture C and that is why they lost. Javo Sergeants, 167, 560 unit score. And we were Javelin Sergeants all day. Um, ranged unit, not as many damage taken, not as many damage done. Uh, we ended up halfway down, but that was fun. I enjoyed playing Javelins. Hope you liked it as well. Hope you learned something new, or you just enjoyed the battle. Thank you so much for coming to my channel.